What's up guys, welcome to Heroes Avenue, my name is Darren and today we're going to be talking about Hawkeye's season finale um, and kind of talk about the series overall um, and give you my thoughts on how I felt about it. So, going into this series, you know, I was really excited and to see Hailey Steinfeld and Jeremy Renner uh, in this sh in the show and I was really curious on how their chemistry was going to be and Hailey Steinfeld, I, I think she did an incredible job. I feel like the chemistry was perfect and she she did it very well i think she was super likable as uh, kate bishop um even though we didn't we didn't get enough uh hawkeye in this role or uh clint barton in this in this in this in the show and you know a lot of it had to do with kate bishop and i know it felt like she was kind of overshadowing clint in his own show but to be honest i i loved every 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 every, every time kate was on screen and every time clint was on screen it was great i loved it um, the beginning of the episode, the uh, beginning of the series, I thought it was it was kind of slow, and then it started really picking up in the middle. Um, and then once it got when, once they brought in Yelena, it really picked up. Uh, I think I think Florence Pugh did an amazing job as well, and she's super likable. And I love I love the, the relationship between uh, Yelena and Kate, Kate Bishop. I think you know them going back and forth, and um, you know it was really fun and it's super entertaining. And I can't wait to see more of that. Uh, later on in the MCU, um, and I was I just started watching Dickinson just because Haley Steinfeld was was you know I'm I'm becoming a fan of her right, um, and I, I recently watched like this really old movie that she was in like from 2016 and uh, I, f I forgot what it was called but yeah she she seems to be playing the same type of character and uh, I think the way she acts and her style of acting really worked for Kate Bishop and and you know and with uh, with with um with with i think it really works with kate bishop and i think that's why the show is so good because she's in here as a supporting cast member uh for clint or i guess she's kind of like the main character right um and so let's talk about the this the final episode because that was kind of like the big the big uh the big episode because there's so much build up in this final episode and i was really curious on how they're gonna kind of like close close the gap in all 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 these story plots and you know we got kingpin in there as well and it was even though it was entertaining it was kind of over uh, underwhelming uh with the payoffs like you like the mom i feel like the, the mom you know i was talking to rob um at our friend's giving and he was talking about how the he already knew the mom was kind of uh the, the main bad guy and and uh jack her her fiance was a, a red hearing right and and he was right and so the payoff on her like i feel like there was no big ending to her to the mom of k bishop's mom and i i feel like you know she just got she just got arrested you know and she got caught by her her daughter from yelena and you know she's the mom stopped kingpin from killing her daughter and it wasn't it wasn't that climatic like i feel like like she just got arrested and, and that was it and it was it was very anticlimactic and I wish there was more in there, and I, that's why I feel like this should have been more of a movie. And um, I feel like they, the, I feel like the show should have been longer. Um, I think, I think the the show was like sixty something minutes, but a lot of it's with the credits and with that really terrible mid credit scene. Um, so I'm not a Broadway guy, sorry guys. Um, but I think it was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> and then you got Kingpin in there, right? And Kingpin was totally different from the Daredevil series. You know, he is super strong in this one. He's kind of like OP in this one, uh, overpowered for those that don't know. Like literally, Kate Bishop like shot an arrow at his chest and he kind of like, in a, you know, it went through his, his, his chest and he just pulled it out. And he wasn't bleeding at all. And then like every time she, he would punch Kate Bishop, she would go flying across the room. And it was just kind of nuts. And she would just get back up and kind of like, like, like she wouldn't be bleeding at all or she... You know, she wasn't really knocked out unconscious. Um, not like the Netflix series, right? Like, he was brutal. Um, and, you know, although, he, although you know, he's the same actor playing the same role, he didn't seem terrifying. You know, in every scene in the in the Netflix, in the Netflix show, um, like, you felt his presence. Like, he was, he was very unpredictable. Um, and he was very scary because you didn't know if he was going to kill you. You didn't know he was if he was gonna just walk away and just like not 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 hit anyone at all. Um, 
it was very terrifying in, in the in the Netflix series. And so in this one, in this version of Kingpin, you didn't get that. You know, you really felt like, you know, it was uh, someone said someone online said this is the Walmart version of the Netflix uh, Kingpin. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and then and then you got what was the other uh, thing that happened? Um, and then you got you know Hawkeye versus Yelena. Uh, you know, although that was a cool fight scene with with both of them. You know, it was uh, it was still underwhelming. I feel like there should have been more in there. Um, I think the only thing, the only scene I really liked in this in the show or in this episode was again with was with Kate Bishop and Yelena when you know when they're going up the when they're going up the elevator and they're fighting fighting on that on the office floor because Yelena was trying to get to Clint to kill him. I like that whole sequence. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I also liked Clint and Kate Bishop in the ice rink, just throwing arrows at everyone. I thought that was super cool, um, and I love I love it every time they use um, Ant Man's arrow and just like shrink something and the the way they shrunk a, a truck. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I, I you know I totally dug the whole series, and I felt like the ending, of, I feel like the last episode was just underwhelming. Although it was entertaining. It was uh, underwhelming. I feel like the payoff. Like I feel like I, I want more. It's not like it wasn't like the Titans season two ending, like the the last episode. It wasn't like that. Um, like this ending, this this season finale was a lot better than Titans season two um, uh, finale for sure. It, like tenfolds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I just it, I just felt like I wanted more from it. Like it was just underwhelming, and you know, Kingpin didn't live up to my expectations. Um, but you know, basing off its merits, it's just I feel like it. There was just so much more room um, that should have been touched on, and and that's why sometimes you know these series, you know, they have like a small window to tell a story and to close the loop off of everything, and you know sometimes it just it just doesn't work out, um, and sometimes it does. You know, Breaking Bad, you know, one of my favorite shows of all time, like the last episode of Breaking Bad answered all the questions that I had. In a such a, a in a phenomenal way, um, and this one it was it wasn't like that. Um, one thing I do want to note is that Echo. I know they're making an Echo Disney Plus series. Don't need it. Don't need it at all. She is. It really. I didn't feel anything from her. She was just boring. I didn't care for her. I really didn't care for her. Her backstory. I like. I felt like I was supposed to really like her. Although it was it was it was a, a very sad story. I didn't care. At the end of the day, I didn't care. I don't. I don't care for her character. She doesn't deserve her own series, guys. She doesn't deserve her own series. Give it to someone else, uh, America Chavez, or you know someone else. Like I don't. I don't know. Um, but give it to someone else. Echo doesn't doesn't need one. Um, but yeah, that is my review for the Hawkeye series. I love. I loved every every episode up until the the season finale. Uh, it's it's a great comedy action movie or action comedy show and i feel like they really uh they really embraced the the christmas theme and i it really felt like you know kevin McAllister from home alone i feel like he could just walk into the screen and you know it would it would be perfect uh because that was the kind of vibe that i was getting right and so super cool it's i think it's a really great show uh i feel like every sh- every marvel show that, co- that has come out besides what if i didn't really like what if and falcon and the winter soldier wasn't my favorite either um, but the other shows, I feel like they, they really knocked it out of the park. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. How did you guys like the season finale of Hawkeye and how did you guys like the series overall? Let me know in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys again. Bye.